everybody. I just wanted to get out here with people that all y'all know and okay, what's going on right now on the McCall unit. As, as I told y'all before, they're, they're trying to kill me on this unit. They, they already printed the consent on all of my food. A, if you go with my name, there's an article about where they were putting ra where razors was found in my food. They, they've been lying about investigations that they were supposed to be investigating these concerted acts. No investigation, no such investigation ever happened. And they're, I'm, I'm, I'm receiving retaliatory skill searches and, and, and additional death threats. And I'm pretty sure they, this is going to be my last phone call before they seclude me down the F-bar back to level three for no reason. My mom wanted to come visit me this weekend. They told my mom that don't to me them beat and driving up here because they're not going to allow her to see me because I'm a security risk. Dude, I'm, I'm a gang member. I am not a gang member. And even if I was, how are you going to deny me a visit for being a gang member? That means you would have to deny half the penitentiary a goddamn visit, right? So, on, on, on top of that, on top of that, they, they, they have they restricted me from calling Katie. They restricted me from calling Marcy and Marie. Marcy and Katie. They restricted my mom's number. Everybody that I call to participate in community activities and podcasts and things like that, which is not a constitutional right, and CCJ has a policy that also allows me to participate in these types of activities. They, they have restricted all of my communication, including my emails. So I'm not allowed to call nobody. I'm not allowed to do, receive no emails or none of that. So they success, successfully isolated me, man. And if I ever needed y'all's help, now, now is the time. Man, I need y'all's help now more than ever. Because they're trying to kill me on this unit. And I also want to point out that Clinton Cox, Mitchell Clark and five other inmates in separate SAG on the Coalfield Unit are standing in solidarity with me. They are going on hunger strike as of today in protest and standing in solidarity as they're being retali retaliated against too for just for standing with me in solidarity and participating in the Demon Justice uh, podcast and stuff like that. So please, man, we need y'all's help. Right. I'm going to continue to fight. I'm going to continue to fight not only for myself, but for the rights of all prisoners in Texas, and that includes your locals. So, I, I, haven't, I haven't eaten in two days. I'm on hunger strike. I got high blood pressure, and I need medical to do that job. Check on me. I need y'all's help.